Hi guys, yes it's me, Master Coach Tony Morgan and thank you for joining me. So today we've got a lot of great content, I'm really excited because I've got a lot of great things to share with you today. Now, the thing about what I'm doing is it gives me great joy to do this because I like to help people. Hopefully I'm helping people to get to the next level of their career. And how we're going to do this is by building a great community. So what you can do is click on the subscribe button to join this great community. So this button here, if you click on that subscribe button and then you can join this great community, as I said. And also, if you hit the bell notification button, you can be notified for any future videos. So how cool is that? So what we're going to do, I'm going to, to also tell you about additional training and the information what I'm doing. So there's two things what I'm doing. The first thing is the Masterful Engineer program. So with this, I'm giving you 25 years of my knowledge and experience in boiler repairs, heat systems and controls, electric boilers, a vast array of experience, what you can learn real fast. And all you have to do is click on the link below this video and go through to my website which is called masterfulengineer.co.uk. Now, the second thing you can do is learn from my Boiler Repair Library. So the Boiler Repair Library is an A to Z of boilers, how-tos, situations, fault codes. It's been updated regularly, and it's got loads of different makes and models of boilers. So you can find out more about that by also clicking on the link of this video and going through to borrowrepairlibrary.co.uk. And the other thing what I'm doing is my video podcast. So my video podcast, what I'm going to be doing there is I'll be doing live streams from my workshop, my training room with students. We'll be looking at different types of boilers. You can see how we do it. This will be done on a live stream. So it'll be quite new. You can interact with it. Also, we'll be doing situations where we on site with an engineer so an engineer can be on a boiler we're going to do a live stream using skype and then you can see us me helping the engineer and you can also interact with it as well so we've got a lot of great stuff coming up to help you learn further so on top of that what i love you guys to do is to share this content so share by using the clip um the share button Share that with your friends and contacts and everyone will prosper. So how cool is that? Now, enough said, we're going to dive into today's how-to video. So hopefully you're going to learn a lot. And as I said, you can share this so we'll all do well. So enjoy this show. So today's how-to video is on the Glowworm Ultimate 40FF. So in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to diagnose a fan fault. So what I did, um, obviously the customer rang in to us about the buy not working. So I spoke to the customer and went for a few diagnostic checks. So what I did, I listened to what they said, and this is what they said to me. They said basically, Prior to the boiler breaking down, the boiler sounded noisy than usual. It made this whining noise and then the boiler stopped working. So for me, when I hear someone say a whining noise and then the boiler stops, especially if it's a fan flu model like this boiler, then you're looking at the fan. So I've ride here, I've brought the new fan with me, there it is. I had to travel quite far to get this, no one had this particular fan in stock but I knew 95% it was the fan I brought with me so I can fix it in one visit and that makes sure your customers are happy, your customer service is great because you've done it in one visit and that's what they want, they want their bar on, you turn out and fix it, that's what it's all about. So when you get to a boiler like this, what you would do, the boiler's on, the power's on to it, I should say, I've just got it turned off on the boiler stat here. So you might listen, you might hear a faint hum. Listen. You 
probably can't hear that, but what you can do, you can put your ear next to the boiler and then turn it on. You hear that little hum, that's an uh, indication that the fan has gone. But I'm going to take the case off and you'll see yourself. So to do that, you just move this wing nut and that eight milling up there. Then the front cover, all of this just comes off in one go and then you can get inside the combustion cover or chamber I should say. Inside the boiler now as you can see, you can see the fan. I'm just going to turn the boiler stack back up, listen. So that's the humming noise. And you see it barely turn. So we'll check that we've got the voltage here. We'll just use our multimeter to check the voltage is correct. So for our little experiment, you can see the lead there. That's connected there. And there's the correct voltage. So the power's there, but the fan is not turning. So that's conclusive evidence that the fan has gone. So to remove the fan, you've got screws here at the front here and here. And you've got one now at the back and also the one there. You need a stubby screwdriver, it's difficult to see. To get in at the back especially. Also you can move the tubes and there's a clamp here which you have to remove like a big jubilee clip remove that the screws the tubes we've already took the leads off and then the fan will slide out this way towards us the screws are now removed the tubes are off that's a jubilee clip there i told tell you about so that's loosened now and then as i said this is going to pull towards us this way and then the fan can come out the fan is now out, but what's happened, this piece here has come out, that should have stayed in, but it's not a problem. I'm just going to have to remove this from the fan, because this end is going to go back into the flue, and obviously this bit will go onto the new fan. So all we do now is just put the fan in, this goes in the inner flue, and then we can start doing the connections, put the screws on. Okay, you can put the fan and just aim through that sensor. That's it. I'll see you. That's it. You can put the tubes on. The red goes at the front. And the white, the clear one at the and back. This one, yeah? Yeah. And that and the front. That's it. And then we'll put the screws in. Yeah. connections on now. And then after that, I'm going to give it a test and see if the boiler fires up. And obviously if the fan got to start running. So here comes the moment of truth. Turn up the step. And there you have it. The fan's running. And we've got ignition. There you have it. So that's it. The fans replaced, did you see? And we've now got combustion. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain the um, ignition sequence on the boiler so you understand how things work. So this is a regular boiler, standard efficiency boiler. Inside here you've got the burner, aerated burner, which basically the flue gases go up through the fan, get sucked through the fan, out that flue pipe, what we put on you, what you've seen before, goes out the flue. Now, so the ignition side of stuff, basically inside here, you've got the ignition PCB, the PCB inside here. So what you've got to have is a live, a switch live, from your controls and that'll come from 
your motorized valve which will be your orange your switch live that will come into the switch live on the board the board then will be activated what that will do that will first make sure the air pressure switch here is in the right position once that's in the right position then that will then send power to the fan so the fan then runs through the tubes you can see on the fan there that then will make the air pressure switch which is here that will send power well a connection to the PCB yeah. to tell basically the PCB that the fan's running once that does that it will send a spark and it will open a gas valve so this is a gas valve that will be energized now it's got two solenoids on this so one's for the pilot solenoid which is this tube here that's going to the pilot goes to the pilot burner that then burns okay but it's got a spark electrode lead here which then that lights the um, pilot light so that lights and that's lit it will cause an a flame rectification send that signal down the lead to the PCB that the flame is lit on the pilot and then it sends a sig signal down the lead to the PCB mm -hmm. that the part light is lit and then it will open the main solenoid to the main burner and allow gas through to the main burner so the main flame lights and then it carries on running so that's your flow sequence now because the fan failed in the sequence obviously it sent power to the fan the fan didn't run because it failed so that means it then there's no air on these tubes the air pressure switch didn't make and because it didn't make it's not then going to tell it to start sparking no spark no light because it failed in that sequence so that's basically your flame or your ignition sequence that's how basically all boilers work especially on the standard efficiency no, if you look at the standard efficiency yeah. setup this is what it is electronic ignition like this this is your space and rule of thumb how all standard efficiency bars work on the ignition side of things so that's a little overview of that. Hopefully that was good for you guys. On this particular boiler, it's a gravity system. And what we've got here at the back, you've got four pipes there you can see. So you've got two for the heating and two for the circulation pipes between the boiler and the cylinder. So that does the hot water. Also you've got this connection here, this is a file, that's for the boiler con control stat and this one at the back there, that's for overheat thermostat the overheat thermostat is here, connected, so that goes all the way through so if it does overheat, that will pop out and stop it from firing and this is your control thermostat which goes to here, that's basically the probe there are the two probes for the two thermostats obviously you've got here the main heat exchanger which is cast iron and so behind there you've got the burner so that's the main makeup of this boiler and that's going to be the end of this video as well Yeah, so how cool was that? Hopefully you learned a lot from this video. So all you now need to do now is just send me a comment and I'll see if I can answer your questions. So as I said, share this content with your, your contacts, subscribe on that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button as well, and I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now. Take care.